I think we're getting right into it. Soto rocking the Pika. Yeah, I think uh, I think most people would probably prefer a, a Kirby versus Pika than they would a Fox versus Pika. Yeah. Or a Fox versus Kirby, I mean. Oh yeah, Kirby versus Pika instead of Kirby versus Fox. Right. And, but at the same time, people would rather see Kirby versus Fox and Kirby versus Kirby. They'd rather really see anything other than Kirby versus Kirby. Yeah. I'm liking this Kirby play though from Bard so far. I've seen him do a lot of similar like uh, frame trap stuff. Tech trap. Oh, 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 oh! He turned himself around. Yep. And failed to turn himself back around for the up B, leaving him vulnerable. Soto kind of second guessing himself. Some, you just got to put the up. You well, hard to say. In this matchup, Pikachu really wants to wait for Kirby to throw out an unsafe aerial at off stage like that, and then he can just punish with his disjointed up air. Sometimes he can just beat out their aerial with the up air as well. Good wait on the get up attack. Good by Bard. Brings him up and down, up and down. Yeah. His punish game is actually looking pretty fire. Yeah. Bard is on point. Yeah. yeah. This is a lot of the same stuff we see Fukuro do, honestly. I mean, in the same vein that Wario kind of inspired a lot of new Pikachu play in Genesis 3, Fukuro this past year, I think has done a lot for Kirby, which has been quiet for a while, but a lot of people have been playing Kirby, um, and they're doing that new style with it as well. I like it. Not that I want to admit that I like Kirby, but I always like to see new development happening within the game. Oh, for sure. Although with a hill to climb. There you go. There's that up air that we were talking about. Yeah. So once Kirby gets hit out of his up B, he loses all of his jumps. You can have every jump, and if you get hit out of up B, you don't you will have no more. Ooh, really good recovery by Soto. Barely hangs on. He's still ev evading everything that Bard has to offer. Kirby, or er, Pikachu does have these zero to deaths on Kirby, but it sent him the wrong way. I was totally expecting uh, Bard to come in with a, an anti-air up to it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if he missed the timing or if he was planning on something else. Oh, oh, there it is. Bard That's Bard. You know where Bard is from? This game is uh, uh, Northern California. Is that right? Yes. Nor NorCal? He is from NorCal. Um, and Soto's from SoCal. So oh, we okay. get the rivalry. Ooh, Samus coming out. Samus, I wouldn't say has a winning matchup against Kirby by any means. Kirby beats most of the cast. But Samus, in the same way that she does very well against Jigglypuff, can do similar work against Kirby. Uh, the back air. Absolutely. Yeah, can prevent all kinds of approaches. And then deadly combos such as the down air into back air. And yeah, that's pretty much all Samus has to offer. But <laughs> Well that's that's not necessarily true. Uh, her know. her bombs will prevent a lot of the aerial uh that is uh, true. aerial um, uh no. approaches. Approaches, yes, thank you. Like you, yeah, you put bombs on like the platforms especially and then it gives it doesn't let Kirby get there for free. You can Great. also use bombs on stuff near the ledge, I believe, to mess up Kirby's recovery. A B is really important. That invincibility can get you out of some combos that aren't exactly true. And I like to say Samus's up B rewinds time because you feel like you'll land the hit and then the up B will still come out. And Samus ends up in advantage. Despite picking the best color, it's not working as well as he had probably hoped, although he does tie up the game there. Gets the full charge on deck. Yeah, these big down air punishes. Oh, and shield break? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I don't know if I like that, that oh, random. Yeah. Sometimes you can catch people slipping, but a good person can react to it. There's yeah. actually a good amount of time to react. Oh. 
hard read, hard call, but he wasn't far enough away. <laughs> Samus using the up B to escape a uh, escape the setup. That that can be so annoying. It can. But once people once you see people start Ooh, start to take a lead, once you see people start to bait out that up B is when Samus ends up in a really rough spot. You can yeah. get a full combo just for messing up that up B. Yeah. So if you're gonna use it, use it wisely. Oh, the trade there. And that is still great for Samus. I agree. Ah, there we go. I was waiting for it. Back here? Hard to feel the pressure. Oh, That's what? not the right move, but it oh, almost set up. You never see that move used. It's bad in like every Smash game. <laughs> Sam is up Smash. We see the bomb play coming out of the platforms once again. Sam is just kind of standing there dancing. Oh, oh, there it was. Baiting out the up B. Baited out. He didn't get a very hard punish, though. He definitely could have taken that stock, but that's going to be it. Oh, wow. Sam is yeah. back here. One of her saving graces, for sure. She used it to wall out a good amount of characters. It kills. It's fast. Without it, she would, without a doubt, be the worst character to Probably, uh, honestly. That back air makes her viable. Yeah, this. I don't know if Bard plays other characters, but if Soto locked into Samus, that does give him a big counter pick opportunity because Samus does lose to some characters pretty bad. But oh, instead, we're going for some color counter picks. Soto rocking the pink, Bard going for the yellow. There's a bad trade for Samus. The last time we saw a good yeah. one, that one was a trade that's on the stage, even, at, even though he up be. Yeah, anything that takes her off the stage is going to be super dangerous. Yeah. She's off the stage, Kirby can just, uh, just kind of wall her off with back airs and down airs. Good CI from Bard. Trying to get another one here. It's possible. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's getting some great reads with that, uh, yeah. with that grab. Just, I mean, a lot of times you just kind of have to remember, like, well, it's like that can only cover like two options. Tech in place and tech in, in front of Samus. Right. Away. Um, tech in. Samus isn't prepared for it. And you can get away. But if you're, Samus, if oh. Samus is prepared for it, then you eat it like a back or a back or something. So sometimes it is lose-lose. You definitely don't want to be teching the same way every time. Soto taking the lead once again. I think Bard is kind of showing that he doesn't have much experience in this matchup. In a lot of exchanges, he seems kind of lost. He's not picking up these at crucial edge guards. Oh, where was the DI? Just kind of had it there at the end, and that was it. Oh, wow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but he just did not Z cancel, and that yeah. was what got him the hit. Super risky, because if he, if he hadn't hit, he would have been punished hard. For sure. I don't even know if it was on purpose, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> with a missed Z cancel, you never know. Yeah. Or missing Z cancel, I guess. Oh, there you yeah. go. That was too early. Too early. Was Soto fishing for a grab there? I'm not sure. I don't know if Samus players really fish for a grab. They really shouldn't. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. <laughs> These are the kind of pressure off stage that you need to see from Kirby in this matchup. Oh, oh. Interesting. He 
try to make the most out of the situation. You gotta respect it. Yeah, that's where you don't really want to take in place in that situation. You think it's the best because I need to get up right now. I need to do something. But that just lets Samus drop straight down and drop another down air on your head. And yeah. That's how you set up for death. So take your place again. Interesting. One, two. <laughs> Great escape. There it is. Turning, and again. Turning, turning back time. Now he's kind of using it frivolously. I, if it works, is it, is it frivolous? Yeah. I guess not, but it missed that last time, and that's when it gets scary because you start doing those panic uppies and people start making comebacks on you. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Oh, oh wow! That's what we're talking about. It covers those options. Even if you're late, it'll still cover it. Soto ends up clutching out the victory after we saw him lose game one with the best character in the game. Switches to that low tier. And 